Hi, Melanie here from Yarn Journeys. It's my stage four of the Tour de Fleece vlog. So as I mentioned in my stage three vlog, I had just finished my sample skein. And one of the things I learned was that I wanted to be doing a short backwards draft for spinning all my singles. Well, today, during watching the stage on TV, I spun just over half a bobbin of singles using short backwards draft. Uh, so I learned of how to best do this draft watching Rachel Smith's woolen spinning YouTube videos. Um, she has an amazing compendium of techniques and tutorials and just her overall podcast that she uh, does on a fairly regular basis is extremely helpful. And I also took her spinning for a sweater class um, from the School of Sweet Georgia. Anyway, having watched her do short backwards draft, I tried to copy what I saw as her technique as best as possible. I'm not gonna try and show you that here because I probably actually have it all wrong. <laughs> but in any case, it has been working for me. And now my goal is really to spin consistently day in, day out through the Tour de Fleece and through the end of this sweater spin. Now, to that end, um, following the examples of the spinning instructors I've been exposed to so far, I made a card with, and I don't know if you can see this very well, but it has a sample single and as well as a sample ply back uh, piece there. And I can hang this on my spinning wheel and as I'm spinning, I can compare how things are going in comparison to what is my goal as represented on this card. So thought I'd share a little bit about what I have written down here and how I'm getting to the measurements I discuss. Um, so for my single, I am going for a single that's about 20 wraps per inch. And I to do that, I, I've written down here, I am on the largest whirl um, and I have low to moderate tension on my wheel. So um, to make sure that I am spinning at 20 wraps per inch consistently for those uh, singles, I am using these sort of little tools from Katrinkles. I will link to them um, in the description as well. And in this handy tool, I can compare my single to the groove she has there um, to make sure that I am spinning 20 wraps per inch. Then for my plyback sample, I am working towards a nine to 10 wraps per inch, which is what worsted weight yarn typically is, and a 30 degree twist angle. So that twist angle will help make sure that I am spinning consistently with the amount of twist I've got. And to measure the twist angle, I'm also using the sort of Katrinkles twist angle tool. And I can put my plyback sample up against this tool and measure the wraps per inch. Super helpful. So I am encouraged that I am going to be able to spin as consistently as I want to. So one half bobbin so far, I'm pretty happy with my progress, uh, but I will keep you updated. Um, and by the way, um, if you caught this 
uh, stage today of the Tour de France. My, what an incredible finish. It was super exciting. I will try not to put spoilers here, but uh, you know, the last five minutes were something to watch, but tomorrow is the cobbles stage. And I'm sure that is going to be really exciting. Um, I'm a bit concerned that I might uh, be treadling a bit faster than usual, just from all of the craziness that I expect to see as the Tour de France goes through its cobble stage. Are you watching the Tour de France? What do you think of it so far? And um, how is your spinning going? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like down below, um, and subscribe so that you don't miss my next stages vlog. See you tomorrow.